Uh, let me start with this. Uh, Tony Romo underwent back surgery this morning. When disaster set in for the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, Tony Romo had two choices. He could overcome or be overcome. I mean, it definitely takes a, a work ethic. The older you get, especially if you're coming off injuries, you have to stay on top of that to be healthy. Uh, you know, the fact that he's willing to put in that kind of time says a lot about him. After three 8-8 eight eight seasons, the Cowboys needed a change in focus. Their mentality became to fight. Uh, it's a fight to be your best. It's not a fight to try your best. It's a fight to be your best. And there are a lot of things that, that um, go into being your best. The preparation you have, uh, getting yourself ready mentally, physically, and emotionally each and every day. Garrett's mantra resonated with Romo, the oldest player on this Cowboys team who's persevered through seven seasons of scrutiny. And it's still loose at the Dallas two. Who's got it? Uh, it's the Saints ball at the two. They got it. You don't take no to a hell of a player, you hear me? You all. Who's fought through agonizing pain. He's one left and the pass is caught by Austin in front of Thomas. Tony Romo's flat on his back. Hey, is it your collarbone? Look out. Tony Romo is asking his way back in. Hang on, wait a minute, we're gonna get you checked out here. Tony Romo has gone for x-rays on his ribs. He's not in the cowboy bench area. Romo's gonna play fake and stand back. Oh, he's got Holly all alone at the 50. Holly to the 40. Holly to the 20. Right to the 15. 10. Dragged down at the two as he showed off the ball. The opportunity some people get, some guys go out and grab it and, and do good things. Thanks, guys. Who's been left out of playoffs and even let playoffs slip through his own hands? And the snap is bad, and Romo picks it up and runs left to the five, and he's taken off his feet. At the two-yard line, he fumbled the ball, and their season's going to end. In August, after coming off of his second back surgery in as many years, Tony Romo had to decide. He could either let up or fight. Over the course of the next four or five years, uh, you'll see uh, the best version of me that uh, I've had uh, throughout my career. And that's for a lot of different reasons, but uh, yeah, I, I really believe that. And I, I think that'll show you know, as we go forward. Romo hasn't been through a single game unscathed. Taking 28 sacks on the year, he fights on. Enduring 45 grueling hits this season, he rises up 46. Yeah, this game is meant to be played one way, and it's hard all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know, in those moments, you got to be tough, tough mentally and tough physically. You got to say, I'm willing to put it on the line right now and go out and do it. And if that means I'm going to go up and make a catch when I'm about to get hit, you go do it. You want to stand in the pocket, you know you're about to get hit, you do it. When the time comes for you to fight and stand in and, and do the things, the little things it takes to win, that's what you have to do. You know, I think I think you never want to um, obviously do anything that's going to uh, disrupt the rest of your life. At the same time, you know, I'm a football player, and uh, it's just who you are. You, it's kind of your life's work, and, and um, you know, this is kind of what I'm going to have done for the first part of my life. And, and for half my life, this is basically what I feel like I am. And, I'll, I'll deal with afterward, afterward. I couldn't, I couldn't picture not doing what I'm doing right now and, and doing everything I can to you know, give myself the best opportunity to achieve the goals that I've set out a long, long time ago. Two games remain. The goal stays the same. Third and two, Romo's gonna throw, looking forever, peels left, avoids a sack, throws it out, caught for a first down. Yeah, look at Romo coming up limping again. Yeah, Romo, warm up, Kyle Orton. Uh, Tony Romo underwent back surgery this morning, and uh, Tony will be on IR. He said that Romo was devastated. I think that a 34-year-old with a herniated disc is an apropos metaphor 
for the team itself. One of the biggest questions in the NFC this offseason is how he's going to recover from this, and we're not going to know till he plays a game. A herniated disc is no joke. Debating whether or not Tony Romo was fine. Season's underway. And now throwing deep into the middle of the ball is intercepted at the 47-yard line. The minute the ball left his hand, I said, this one's going to a red shirt. Throw it in the end zone for Whitten. It's intercepted. Tony, Tony, Tony. He knows better. I was uh, disappointed. Again, I don't think we're going to see Tony Romo throwing three interceptions. I've said it for a long time. He's an elite quarterback. He creates a lot. To come back the way he has the last two years off injury. Romo in the gun. Back to throw. Touchdown, Cowboys! Back, back shoulder fade, Des Bryant, touchdown Cowboys, ball game on. Now throws it in the end zone for a touchdown, touchdown, touchdown Cowboys. Wow. Boy, he took a shot. He avoids Irvin, now he comes back to his right points, throws it down the right sideline, Terrence Williams at the Seattle 47 and caught the ball. It's not all good in Dallas. Tony Romo has two fractures in his back. Brandon Whedon going for Dallas. Whedon will throw it out, looking for Whedon intercepted at the 15-yard line. Whedon throws to the right, it's intercepted at the 35. That's why the guy with the bad back, that's the play. If he's healthy, Romo needs to play. Tony Romo's the quarterback, oh, by the way. Fires a deep fade on the right side for Dez. He caught it over the shoulder. Touchdown. Oh, what a pretty pass. Holding the ball a long time. Rolling to his right. Throwing on the run. Touchdown to Jason Witt. Standing, standing, standing. Throwing it in the end zone. Touchdown. We've been through we've been through hell and back together, you know, and to get a little bit of success and you know, it was emotional for sure. Rushed by Watt. He escapes Watt. Oh, touchdown! Oh, over the shoulder! Oh, what a throw! From Romo, dropped it in like rain. Tony Romo, yeah, let's talk about that kid with the MVP possibility. This is one tough cowboy. He is the best running back in the National Football League. You better give me your first two born before I give it away to Marco Murray. Steve Sean moved the best running back in the league. Sean moved the best running back in the league. to Murray, downfield, all the way down to the St. Louis 26. Oh, man. that'll sober you up in a hurry right there. Murray, right tackle, 10 yard line, block the dog! Give to DeMarco Murray, picks through a hole, makes a man miss, zigzagging his way in, five, goal line, touchdown, DeMarco Murray! Hey, that is nasty. DeMarco Murray, meet Jim Brown and O.J. Simpson. Fellas, meet DeMarco Murray. Listen, you can rest him next year. Let the man run. Let, Let him run. run. You look at the Look at that animal right there. He's on pace to shatter every record in the books right now. I need you to get 100 yards. Uh-uh. Let's go. 150. 150. He's already broken a record, 100-plus rushing yards in eight straight games. DeMarco Murray is just running like a man possessed. Unbelievable. Remo, Remo, bro, let me, t- let me tell you something, bro. I ain't trying to put no pressure on you, but you keep running the ball like that, bro, we're going to around to be in that postseason. Hey, 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 and it's on from that, bro. And off Murray. Oh, he popped through. 30, foot race, 25, 20, stiff arm. DeMarco Murray, to me, is the choice for MVP. Hey! 
Let's lock in right now. Brian's hands are so big and so strong. Bombs away. Reached up. Caught it. Touchdown. Des Bryant. Des just too big, strong, physical. While they waiting for something to happen, let's keep putting it on their ass, all right? Romo takes a shot to Dez right side. Oh, touchdown! All over the shoulder! Right over Bryant's shoulder for the third time tonight. He caught the ball! There's only one guy going up there, and that's Dez Bryant. He put it up for Bryant to make a play, and Bryant made a play. Leading to the goal line! That's about the most ridiculous catch I've ever seen. Dez made it look easy there. This was a freaking awesome game. It was, Coach. Hey, and I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it because I know it's more to come.